my kids go to a public school. Um, and, you know, every, every so often, I think it's once or twice a year or whatever it is, um, they play the national anthem. Um, and there's always a conversation about how should we do with that? Um, should we stand up and, and sing along? Um, or should we, you know, take a position that expresses our resistance against what the national anthem represents in terms of its colonialism um, and whatnot? And you reach a compromise. But the thing is, the fact that we're having this conversation tells us that look, we realize that as Muslims we are under the spotlight. And we also realize that as Muslims we have to take positions on things which are not going to be comfortable. Mm. My kids will stand up, but they won't sing. My youngest daughter, I don't know where she got it from. I'm assuming she's been on YouTube watching interviews of mine or something. Um, and she was actively making dua under her breath. You know, just reaffirming her Muslimness. We felt the brunt of war and terror policy. It was heavy. It was, it was, look, it's, it's a fight. But the thing is, what I want to mention, it's not a fair fight. You have communities of individuals versus a state. And it's not just one state. It's an international order. And we're up against the resources of a state in every conceivable way. And believing in Islam means we are going to be tested. It's not going to be all roses and all prettiness. That's the first thing. So in terms of setting our expectations about things, we should be clear, the normality is conflict. We probably bought into the lie that is tolerance, diversity, and multiculturalism. You know, where we sold the rhetoric of, of acceptance of diversity and different peoples and different opinions and different religions, uh, but not realizing the reality of what that entails. You know, there's another guy who walks into the, sh walks into the place where I work, um, and he goes, look, I'm on your side. Right, he's white, male, um, you know, old age. He goes, I'm on your side. And he's talking about our politics and stuff and resistant government and whatever else. And I said, no, you're not. He goes, what do you mean I'm not? Like, I support you. And he wanted me to thank him for it. Like, the fact that he expressed it. And I said, look, you know, you, you'll be happy to accept me if I'm a particular type of Muslim for you. And he goes, no, but we believe, like, Australia is very tolerant. Australia is a very tolerant country. And I said, look, what's your position on, on the hudud in Islam? He goes, barbaric. Okay, what's your position on this? Wrong. What's your position on various aspects of Islam? Straight out. I said, you're not tolerant. You're lying to me and you're lying to yourself. The thing is, you believe in what you believe. I believe in what I believe. And may the best man win. There's the point pretending. Do you condemn what ISIS has done? <laughs> no. Why shouldn't we condemn? Why shouldn't we apologize? Um, you know, the honest truth is, right, to, like, we can get up and down. I won't just because you asked me to. Like, so that's honestly the simple fact. Because you asked me to, I'm not going to do it. Right? And why? And who is you? Like, who am I referring to? Right? Again, the, the hierarchy between Muslim and non-Muslim and the white men and, and, pe and persons of color. I wouldn't do it in principle. And we've been asked to, we've been sort of thrown into this conversation and asked to defend the Islamic position and accept all the presupp presuppositions about it. Why would I do that? Like, why would I humiliate myself? Okay, if you're genuinely concerned about loss of life, which no one is more concerned about than a Muslim, then let's talk about really where people are losing their lives in the greatest magnitude, in the worst possible ways. I'm not going to humiliate victims of colonial wars and colonial policy by focusing on the actions of individuals and ignore the monstrosity of state action. I wouldn't do that. Everyone knows who they're trying to target. Right? When, they ex you know, when expressions like tolerance and diversity are uttered, the ones who are uttering them know 100% it's not true. Right? It's a particular form of Muslim, it's a particular form of an individual who's secular minded, who accepts, accepts democracy, who accepts the, the, you know, the rule of law under a parliamentary system. They're the people they'll tolerate. And the minute you express an opinion contrary to that, and more than that, like the worst thing is if you start building your activism in resistance to it on the basis of Islam, where you present clear alternatives, then the true face is uncovered. It doesn't take much to scratch the surface. Anyone that says we're tolerant and we should be grateful, ask them very quickly, very simply, what's their position on hudud? And see, the, see their face change. Really see their face change. And then, okay, then just be honest with me. You're not tolerant, you're not diverse, you want me to perform in a particular way, and you want me to behave in a particular way, and, and that's contrary to my deen. What you're asking me to compromise my deen, and that's the only people you will tolerate. And the thing is, as Muslims, like, we've got to be clear, we don't want to be accepted. Like, if that's the price we pay, we don't want it. Like, I'm not here to beg for your acceptance as a Muslim, right? My position is between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I want the opposite. I want you to become Muslim. 
I want the best for you. But we've been made to apologize for that because we believe in that. We believe Islam is superior. The word of Allah subhanahu wa is superior. Why the hell should I apologize for that? You know, the guy who comes in and says, I'm on your side with him. Like, like, and I just want to show to him that he's lying to himself. He talks about on the one hand how multicultural and beautiful we are. On the other hand, how barbaric the hudud laws in Brunei were. I'm like, bro, you've got, to, like, you've got to pick a side. Like you either love me as a Muslim or you hate me because I believe in Islam. You can't be both, right? I'm like, what's the point of loving me if I have to leave my Islam behind me? 